Hello everybody, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to navigate the Companion app. First of all, the dashboard overview, to which you can access using the bottom left icon. So I'm tapping on it here right away. When you tap on it, you first get access to the overview. So you can see here uh, the activity, sleep and dynamic coach. Then by scrolling down, you get a view on your daily activity progress, your sleep, which in this case not, uh, not activated, uh, the overview of your heart rate monitoring with the last beats per minute, your breaths per minute, the weather forecast, the amount of water that you've been drinking uh, today, so you can add it manually on the app as well as on the watch the latest workouts, your VO2 max, weight evolution, and finally, the dynamic coach giving you tips on a daily basis. You can access uh, activity, sleep, and heart rate monitoring by directly tapping on the section. Here, for example, for the activity can always tap on the bottom left icon to go back to the dashboard. Same for heart rate mon monitoring, for example. Tap bottom left to go back to the dashboard. But then you also have the three shortcuts on the bottom of the app. So I'll go back to the activity, for example, by using the shortcuts and back to the dashboard. Now to access uh, the main menu overview, you can tap on the top left icon with the three ha uh, lines here, which will give you access to uh, the main menu. So first of all, on top, you have access to your user profile with all the details that you can permanently uh, modify by simply uh, accessing the elements that you wish to modify. And always use the top uh, left arrow to go back. So I'll go this, go back to the to the main menu. You can here access uh, the watch uh, details. So my watch. You have here on the top the watch reference. You can see whether your watch is properly connected to the app and the cloud. You have uh, a notification here to know whether you're on the latest firmware or if you have an update that you would like to install. You have your battery percentage and access to the user guide right here. Top left to go back to the main menu. Then you can choose on your display settings and decide which settings you would like to have displayed on your watch, for, for example, I'm not interested in seeing the weather, I can decide to remove it or to add it from top left to go back. You can set your backlight, how long you would like to have the backlight on your, on your watch, decide whether you want to have a locator for your watch or not, and whether you would like to have a watch demo mode available while charging or not. Finally, you can here align the hands, which is useful to know whether your uh, settings are correct. So on the left, you have the minute adjustment that you can set backwards or forwards and make sure that you're aligned at 12 o'clock. Same for the hours, you can put them backwards or forwards, but here we can see that we're nicely aligned on 12 o'clock and save it. Then once again, you can uh, go to the top left arrow to go back to the settings. You can then decide to set your activity goals, get active alert. So after how long you want to get a notification to get active, so to stand up and, uh, and, and walk around. Your workout goals, sleep goals, alarms and sleep cycle your sleep mode, your heart rate alert, the stress alerts, 
breathing exercise and stress alert. Then whether you want to get the weather notified or not. The notifications. So we can show you here what you would like to get notified on. But then also the different uh, installed apps to get notified directly onto your watch. The world timer, health, third-party apps, the reset options, and then the different contacts, knowledge base, the contact us, if you would like to send us feedback, and finally, the different elements regarding privacy policy, and analytics, the agreements, and third-party licensing. So this is it. I hope this was helpful for you to learn how to navigate the Companion app. Thank you very much for following.